I am Dave McLaughlin. I'm from Elliottsburg, Pennsylvania, which is in Perry County. I'm currently farming 425 acres, uh, 150 of corn, 125 of full season beans, 40 acres of double crop beans behind barley, uh, 60 acres of barley, and the remainder is in alfalfa and grass hay. Uh, I started no-tilling 30 years ago when I joined the operate when I married, I should say, the, uh, into the operation. Uh, my father-in-law has always no-tilled a little bit, but was mainly a conservation tillage or moldboard plow uh, operation. Uh, in 94, when my wife and I took over her family's operation, uh, I started by no-tilling my forages and small grains. Um, by 99, I had decided to jump in with both feet and started no-tilling everything, including the corn uh, and soybeans. And uh, basically, with, it was, I am the, the sole operator here, so uh, the 100% no-till was attractive for the time savings. Uh, I'm a strong believer in cover crops. Uh, I've been fortunate the last two years, uh, the, the fall weather has given me the chance to cover crop 100% of the acres. Uh, the corn silage ground, uh, that's what gets rotated into barley, which will be grain for next year. But other than that, all of the shelled corn ground and all of the soybean stubble will get planted into a cover crop. Uh, I use a lot of cereal rye seeded at 50 to 60 pounds to the acre. Uh, I feel that's all that's necessary. Uh, it, it really encourages, I'm told, the, the root growth by not being so thick and so competitive with the plants around them. Uh, I also have used uh, winter wheat, um, which has just been run uh, by from the neighbor. Uh, I also use a combination, in combination with the cereal rye, the annual ryegrass, um, tillage radish, uh, your various clovers, whether it's red clover or the crimson clover, uh, and really the cover cropping is a, a work, in, work in production from year to year thing as, as Things change, conditions change, my goals change. Uh, of course, the, the, the main goal with, one of the main goals with the cover cropping is to reduce soil erosion, especially on that soybean ground. But through the conferences I've attended, the reading I've done, uh, listening to the, the Jill Clappertons, the Ray Archuletas, the, the Dave Brants, um, it's the living roots that supplies the homes for all the micro the microorganisms out here in our soils and really now my main goal of the, the, the intensive cover cropping is to get living roots out there in my soil for as many months of the year as possible not just the three or four months when the crop is out there growing so that's really the main focus now of the, the, my cover crop cropping program uh, and of course with the manure that I apply from both the dairy cows, the heifers dry cows and the hog manure that I Im import, uh, of course it captures and retains those nutrients uh, for not uh, next year's crop but of course trying to be a good steward I want those nutrients to stay where I put them not end up down in the Chesapeake. 